I want to finish those Game of Thrones. I really like them. I love the monumental like stones underneath them. Yeah, I do too. I do too. And they'd be so beautiful outside. I mean, they, they're really meant for like, just think about at the end of somebody's pool. Yeah. You know, or facing the sound. Um, and I think that at certain times of the year if, that they could be turned. So sometimes they'd be facing each other. Sometimes mm -hmm. they'd be facing forward. It's, it's kind of like canine nature. I don't, I don't see them as, um, I have a drawing up in the drawing room that I had started to figure them out. What I saw that was critical to me was the negative space between the two dogs, that it's like a heart and that it's like, um, it's like a figure raising their arms up. Um, so a lot of the time, rather than work the form, I'll work the space around or between the form. And the relationships between seemingly disparate elements, you know, that in fact um, are joined. Mm -hmm. but they don't seem to be mm -hmm. so and I think that's you know that's the extraordinary part about sculpture that you don't necessarily get with painting is that there's a dialogue but the monks like all the birds in the past and all of the foxes and the, um, <clears throat> you know the other forms they have consummate um, balance, a relationship between the form and the posture and the presence, um, which gives it an essential quality. I mean, it could be Moses, it could be a bird, it could be a tree, you know, and just, and it's the Fibonacci curve, which is the 5, 8, 13, the golden mean. Um, and all of my work is based on that, which is what I grew up with. I grew up in a household full of scientists. And, you know, that became my love. So even if I'm making a drawing of a dog, I'm thinking, Shh, I'm thinking of those, you know, the number progressions, which is the growth in nature. I really am so influenced by um, ancient art and nature, which, um, you know, you looking at it frontally where I am, I'm not in the midst of it. Like you stand at the beach and look at the water. You kind of have to like let it breathe for a little bit and then you know what happens happens. Yeah. <laughs> it's just like, I love the way like the whole studio is like a sacred dance, you know, like some um, ancient sacred dance and everybody is at attention. And they're all in relation and the relation always ends up being um, a 5-8-13 relationship. It always ends up being um, a math that's the celestial math of the skies. And I think it's calming as well as enervating. <laughs>